our previews. You know, we've been kind of setting this up for a while. We wanted to see how things were going to shape out. But let's dive into the AFC North. And we will start things off with the Baltimore Ravens. Last year went 14-2. and two. Win total is set right now at 11 and a half games over at Bet Online. It is plus 120 for the over and minus 150 for the under. So they think it is much more likely that they will go under 12 wins as opposed to over 11 and a half uh, to win the division. And you can find different odds all over the place as it sits right now. To win the division, they are minus 180. So a sizable favorite here. Uh, earlier this summer, they were as high as like minus 300 to win this division. And that has come back down quite a bit. Um, John Harbaugh is in his 13th season. Let's go through some of the stats from last year. Offensive yards per play, they were number three, 6.1 yards per play. Defensive yards per play, they gave up 5.2. They were number 11 in the league. Turnover margin, they were number nine. That is just as big a thing as yards per play for either side. Plus 0.4 turnovers per game. That is definitely good. Number nine in the league. Um, this is all Lamar Jackson. I mean, it just is. They they lost Hayden Hurst, which isn't that big of a deal because they still got Mark Andrews. Um, you know, they they drafted J.K. Dobbins, and I think that that offense is still going to continue rolling. Remember, we Hollywood Brown, we didn't even see the best of him last year. I mean, he is moving into his second year. He's going to understand the offense a lot yep. better. I, I think he's, he's not going to be as injured because he came in injured last year. So I, I think that's a, a step in the right direction. And then the defense, you know, they brought in uh, Patrick Queen. They brought in Calais Campbell. And – you know, I, I think they could feasibly, from all the talk that we've heard, they could actually be better without Earl Thomas. So, yes. I I really like this team. Um, and, and you know, you, I, I've been the, the doubter of Lamar Jackson. And I, I still kind of am because I think that teams and defenses will be able to catch up with him eventually. I don't think it's this year. I'll go ahead and tell you my prediction on it. I've got him 12-4 and four this year, and I've got him winning the division. Like, I think this is an incredibly well-built team. Um, and the Ravens do this over and over again. I mean, John Harbaugh is a hell of a coach. Hell of a coach. Yeah. What do you got? I love this team. I am the opposite of you on Lamar. I was waving the flag from his freshman year at Louisville when I saw this kid was elite. And I said, whoever takes him, he's going to change their franchise forever. I wanted my Pats to take him so badly. And uh, they were too afraid to pull that trigger. The nemesis Baltimore Ravens come in, they take him, and my heart melts completely. And now I'm just I'm all in on on Baltimore and Lamar's success. I think this guy's elite. We have not seen anything yet from what this offense can do. You think they can figure it out? It's gonna look so different this year than it did last year. They've never had they haven't had a running back. I know you like your boy Mark Inger. All right, he's old as hell. He's good at the goal line. That's about it. All right. Yeah. They bring in uh, Dobbins, that's going to add electricity to that backfield that they haven't had to pair with him and then to take a lot of the the, the heat off of Mark, Lamar. But then also, we are going to see Hollywood Brown cook this year. If you're in a fantasy league, he is, he is so undervalued, it's not funny. Just grab him. Whatever you have to do, whatever the auction price is, just pay it. I promise you he's going to outperform any drafts, but just one, two rounds early, that's fine. He's going to outperform all of that. Watch him. He's going to be electric. His offense is going to fly. I don't think that defense is going backwards at all. John Harbaugh is just a mastermind at defense, and, and he's got a, an elite team of players. I got him 13-3. and three. I really want it to be 14-2. and two. I think the NFL is just too bad, too hard. It's too easy to just slip up and let somebody catch you. Last year, they lost a the game to the Browns. They played the Browns 10 times last year. They beat the Browns nine of those. That one time they finally got them. It just – Cleveland was just just reeling off four losses in a row and were desperate, and, and the Ravens were kind of flying high and came down to earth a little bit. 13-3, and three, I think they win the division. I don't think it's close. And I, and I yes. like this division. I think the teams in this division are going to all be improved from what they were last year for yes. the most part. I, I still think they run away with it. Yeah, I think, I think you might be right about that. You might be right. Let's move on. And with this.